We'll have much more on the bunny cafes coming up later on First at Four. Big story, big time. Well, in November, we will head to the polls to decide who will be the next president of these United States. Between now and then, we've got a whole lot of campaign promises and mudslinging to endure. And unfortunately, it's pretty easy to lose sight of the issues. Dixie Swanson is a degree or two of separation away from a Washington insider. She's also the author of the Accidental President Trilogy. And she's here to tell us about women and voting. Dixie, thank you so much for being with us well, today. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. Absolutely, my pleasure. And you brought props, and I love it when people bring props. I'm I did. Arrange these quickly so we can get some, some nice shots of them. These are your books. Yes, the first two. The third one comes out on Election Day. Ah, there mm -hmm, you are. Mm -hmm. So you can run by the polls and then run by the bookstore. That's right. That's right. Do your American duty and then do you a favor. That's right. <laughs> well, actually do yourself a favor because there are some solutions in these books. I want to get the fat cats out of Washington. Well, let's talk a little bit about the message that uh, you, you send to women specifically about voting and, and how they need to pay attention to, to certain topics and, and what things should interest them in politics. Well, I think women are not a monolithic block. What is important to a 21-year-old woman may not be exactly what's important to a 65-year-old woman. But it's our responsibility, not only to ourselves, but to our children and our grandchildren for us to vote. Because my own grandmother got to vote once in her entire lifetime. Because women have not had the vote except for 100 years. And um, so we have to vote on behalf of all those women around the world who can't vote. And I encourage women to get informed. And the worst way to get informed is through television advertising. So <laughs> The it, ads. Yeah, that's right. right. So if you are a woman and you want to get educated, every time you see a political ad on television, stick your fingers in your ears and shut your eyes. Get your information from news sources okay. that present two sides of a story. And then decide what issues are important to you and pursue them. If you have the time, volunteer. Get involved in the political process. And if, if you don't vote, you can't gripe. Now, this is uh, something that's not necessarily related to women, but, but you brought it up two sides of the story. I have so many friends that tell me, oh, CNN is way, way, way over there on the left, and Fox is way, way over there on the right, MSNBC is here, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Do, do we have political coverage still in this country that is unbiased and impartial? I think if you look at a variety of outlets, you will see, you will get enough variety of perspectives that you will see fact. And I really encourage people uh, to pursue print journalism as well. You get good coverage in the Wall Street Journal, in the New York Times, uh, as well as good electronic journalism. Now, running low on time, but really quickly, for women, uh, is there a greater stake for them in local elections, state, or, or national? Um, I think there's a very important overlooked issue, and that is in areas where judges are elected. Um, the only time you may encounter the legal system as a woman is if you are divorced or involved in custody hearings. And so um, you should really check out who's running for judge, because your life may hinge on what that judge rules if you are ever involved in the dissolution of a family. Now, are you a fan of the League of Women Voters as well? Yes, I think they do an excellent job at, at presenting civic issues. You know, we should be discussing civil issues all the time. Political issues are a little different, but we have so many problems in this country that people need to be talking about them around the dinner table. Uh, because nobody's looking 20 and 30 years down the road in these elections. Okay. And we need to, we have some big problems to solve. Uh, absolutely. It's going to be very interesting to see how it all shakes out. Dixie, we're out of time, but thank you so much for being with thank us today. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You can find out more about Dixie Swanson and her books online at DixieSwanson.com.